For our videos, the procedures are the same for LIMDEP and ENLOGIT, so I'll just refer to LIMDEP. At the beginning of your analysis, the first thing you will do is import a data set. The command import and the project menu can be used to import standard data files such as text files and CSV files. A typical data file has variable names in the first row separated by commas or spaces. You would not find both in the same file. This is just for illustration. Numeric data are in rows separated by commas or spaces. Observation labels are in the first column. They may not contain spaces or exceed 16 characters. Non-numeric, non-blank entries are used to denote missing values. Let's open the data file using the project menu. Select Import, then Variables. To find the file, select All File Types, locate your file, and double-click it. You can see that the variables have been imported. Another way to do this is with the import command. Let's first open the editing window. The format for the command is import file equals the file name including the full path. Limdep provides an easy way to find the full path. Start the import command. Then from the insert menu select file path. Find the file and double click it. Limdep will insert the full path and the file name in the editing window. Just add the dollar sign and run the command with the Go button or from the Run menu. You can run a one-line command by placing the cursor anywhere on the line. To import an Excel file, first save it as a CSV file, then import it just like we did above. For details, see our video, How to Import an Excel File. Once imported, you can view your data in the Data Editor. Double-click any variable name in the project window or click the Data Editor icon on the toolbar. The active sample is all the observations in the data set. The chevron symbol indicates that the observation is in the current sample. Remember that in your data set you denoted missing values with non-numeric, non-blank entries. LIMDEP's internal code for missing data is the value minus 999. When you do your analysis, you will want to tell LIMDEP to ignore missing data. You can do this with the command skip. This is a fixed setting that persists from model to model. You can turn it off with the command no skip. You may need to adjust the data area. It is originally configured with 2 million cells. To adjust it, go to the project menu, select settings, then data area. This dialog box allows you to adjust the number of cells for the session you are currently using. Adjust the data array before you import your data set, not after. This is a temporary setting and will reset to the default setting when you exit. To permanently change the data array, from the Tools menu, select Options, then Projects, to change the default setting. Import can handle most files, but for some files, you will need to use the read command. For example, you may also want to import files from other software programs. There is a special read specification to import Stata files. The format is read file equals the file name including the full path, format equals DTA. For file types from other programs such as SAS, you can use the software Stat Transfer to convert files from other statistical programs to LIMDEP. You do not need to import your data every time. After importing your data using any of the methods shown, just save your project. From the File menu, select Save Project As, type the name of your file, and click Save. Then, anytime you want to use your data again, you can retrieve it by opening the project. It's just that simple to import data files. Thanks for watching.